Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It's Marla. It is another sunny, beautiful day here in Florida. First thing in the morning, I'm getting some pretty good lighting in here. So I thought I would do a quick, quick little video on the mascara. If you watched the Lancome show and tell video I did when I was going through all the Lancome products I recently purchased, I mentioned that I picked up a mascara that I really, really like. I think it's called the Virtuose Black Carrot Mascara. And I was trying to, I was gonna do a kind of a quickie comparison with this mascara and all the current mascaras I have kind of in my drawer. I don't keep old mascaras around a long time. A couple of, I may keep uh, powder blushes. Things from powders I have a tendency to kind of keep around more. Uh, but when it comes to liquid things that kind of separate after a while and just start looking funny to me, I throw them away and dry it out. So I only have one, two, three, four, five, six other mascaras to kind of compare this one to, but I thought I would do it really quickly anyway. I really, really love this mascara, as I mentioned in my last video. I'll show you a quick picture of it actually on my eyes right now. Here it comes. This is my eye with no mascara on. I don't have very many lashes and they don't curl very well. This is my eye after applying probably about two coats of the mascara and also curling my lashes. Really love it. The reason I love this so much is I have this one and I have the Hypnos by Lancome, and I definitely prefer this black carrot a thousand times over the Hypnos. When I put this Hypnos on, it feels wet to me. And when I blink, if I blink and don't wait a really long time before it dries, it just gets all over my eye. And when I'm even putting it on, it's kind of breaking through between my lashes, going on my lid. I don't know, I just don't like this Hypnos. I don't have that problem with this black carrot at all. Just saying. And let me just compare wand wise. This is the black carrot wand and it has kind of a funny curve on it. And I know a lot of people said they did not like this curve. They had a hard time with it. And for the longest time, I was trying to actually put it on my lashes. Let me show you in this direction kind of with a U shape at the bottom and I would try to do it that way and that was super awkward. I'd be like poking myself in my, my eye when I was doing it. The easiest way for me to put this on is almost like an arch with it going arched up and then putting it on that way all over and I have no problem using this wand the way it's shaped. I actually really like it. It separates my lashes, gives me volume length, does not give me any clumpiness at all. It's not wet. After I put it on, it's just super dry. It doesn't uh, seem to kind of streak or smear. It doesn't get clumpy. I love it. Now, comparing that wand to the Hypnos wand, the Hypnos wand is more of a straighter wand. That is what that one looks like. And again, I'm not a big fan of Hypnos. I know a lot of people really like this, but to me, it was just too wet on my eyelashes. It just was messy. Didn't care for it. The one thing I did want to mention about this Virtuose Black Carrot, it is hard to remove, but all the other mascaras I have are hard to remove, so it's really not that much different than any of the other mascaras I have in my drawer right now. The mascara that I was using kind of routinely all the time before I got this one by Lancome was my Benefit Their Real Mascara. I have a video on this, which I will put right up here if you want to come back and look at that. It's a little bit more in depth, but this is the shape of the wand for the their real mascara. This is another really, really nice mascara. I, I really like this benefit. They're real. It's never clumpy. Also a really nice mascara. I have the Dior Show Iconic one in my drawer. I just, for some reason, never kind of I uh, had an affinity for this mascara. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just I don't like the wand head. That is what it looks like. It just, for my lashes, it just didn't do anything for them. I, I just don't know. I put it on and I just was not impressed, but it could just be me. But that is the Dior Show Iconic Wand. The other one I have in my drawer is my Cheapo, which I really kind of like. The e.l.f. Mineral Infused Mascara. This is super cheap. 
but it doesn't clump and it, it lengthens and separates my lash as well also, but not quite as dramatically as the Lancome Black Carrot does. And then I have two kind of little sample ones that I got from Sephora. I don't like either one of these and I really don't like this one. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I did a kind of more of an in-depth review on this one. If you want to plug into that right here, you should be able to see that there, but I do not like this. It has this kind of giant, um, it reminds me of a cleaning brush that they have on these big machines that kind of clean the streaks. That's what it reminds me of, super awkward. It is clumpy and it's just makes my lashes just look like a clump monster. I don't like this at all. And then I did try the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. The head of that one looks like this. I just don't like that kind of, I don't know. What is that? It looks like a tree or something. It looks like a Christmas tree. I just don't like the shape of this for some reason. I don't like this big thick uh, head on the wand. It's really, it's just really messy for me and awkward for me. I don't like that fat little bottom area of it. Just never like that. So not a big fan of that one either. So that is kind of a quick rundown of the mascaras that are in my drawer compared to the Lancome black carrot that I just picked up. Really, really love this stuff. I probably would purchase this again. One of the high-end mascaras, I really not, I usually am not a person that is big on spending a lot of money for mascara because I think a lot of drugstore mascaras are just as good. However, I probably would purchase this one. For the longest time, I was a big fan of the Chanel mascara, um, but this one I just personally like better. And that is my perception on this mascara from Lancome. Hope you guys had a great day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye from Marla.